All right, so for game of the year, there's a bit of a bigger list. Now, if oh, there's God, anything there's missed, feel free to put it on. Where's game of the year? I'm not seeing it's, it. It's up near it's the, top. Put it at the top. It's all the top. Oh, God. It's, it's insane not, for it's, last in parenthesis. You, like, made me scroll all the way down only to scroll back up. I, uh, it's very labor-intensive work. I am very sorry, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> my scrolling finger hurts now, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scrolling? I'm hitting my home and end keys, dude. Instant. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, so for game of the year, we have. I'm, Doom- I'm using my new mouse, wireless baby. <laughs> Wired baby. Dude, I, I can like wiggle with it, and I won't like knock my computer off the, off the table. Knowing you, you'll find <laughs> a way. You'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. All right, so for game of the year, we have Doom Eternal, uh, Animal Crossing, Yakuza, Shadowlands, Someone's Watch Dogs. Frozen. Yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Someone's buzzing and it's very loud. <laughs> yep. That's the phone over there. We have Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing, Yakuza, Shadowlands, Watch Dogs, The Last of Us 2, Tell Me Why, Miles Morales, Resident Evil 3, Persona 5 Royal, Ori, Half-Life Alex, Hades, Ghost of Sh- yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Fall Guys, Crash 4, Astro, Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory, Fallen Order, Black Mesa, and Among Us. Mesa, you want to go ahead and take the first stab at that? Um, are we eliminating or are we just picking? I, I'd say just pick. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I wanted to do as well. And my pick for game of the year is obviously Spider-Man Miles Morales. I don't think... I could have picked anything else. <laughs> that's yeah, that's it. That's your one vote. That's that's my vote. Unless uh, if I get a second one, uh, I guess if you're just doing my top three, then um, whatever you feel passionately about. Okay. Whatever literally screams at you. So for me, it would either be Doom Eternal or The Last of Us Two. Both are like an mm. equal playing field yeah. for me for very different reasons. Miles Morales, Fallen Order, and you know what? Screw it, Astro Bot. Astro oh there. wow! Yeah. yeah. All right. Wow. I haven't be I haven't beat Ghost yet, so I don't. I don't. I don't feel. What happened to that it. empty nostalgia, dude? <laughs> I told you, it's not for me. It's a hand saying, "Welcome, <laughs> your 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 home. You're, welcome to your new home." Essentially. I yeah. got I got my three. Uh. Number one is actually going to be uh, Resident Evil 3. Uh, I just thought it was such like a fun remake and like, and, like a really fun experience. Uh, two is going to be Tell Tell Me Why, just because that did not get enough love this, this year. And it's the one story that stuck with me the entire year. Uh, and the one game that's emotionally stuck with me. And uh, hot take, but if you get the bad ending in that game, then you are a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, hot takes. Uh, and then my third one is actually going to be Astro. It's the first game I ever platinumed, and it was a game that brought me back to some of the best, like best moments of my childhood, which was a kind of pretty shitty child childhood, and being reminded of all like of all the old PlayStation stuff and the memories of I got my first place play, PlayStation. That game like did something in me that just gave me that like tiny bit of serotonin that i had been craving that i didn't know and serotonin yes. serotonin <laughs> that game meant a lot to me more more than words honest mm-hmm. honestly on like a mental level so i would have to put astro uh astro's playroom on there too i think maybe just to elaborate on on mine a bit more for the uh <laughs> reason reason why doom eternal and the last of us 2 are at an equal level for me uh doom eternal is the best shooter of like i don't even want to say the last generation i want to don't even want to say the last decade i think it's just hands down one of the best shooters of all time and it, it's in terms of just like raw game design and raw gameplay that is the pinnacle of, of video games to me at the moment and then the last of us two on the on it also holds that spot but specifically for the storytelling for the overall storytelling experience those are just both masterclass examples in, in both of their respective fields. Uh, Corey, you want to go ahead? Yes. Um, I think my number one is The Last of Us Part Two um, because it 
made me feel things that I didn't expect to feel. Um, and uh, it was, you know, it, it, it just, it feels like it, it had everything. Um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man uh, will always be close to my heart. Um, and the fact that they brought Miles into it and really just gave him, you know, his, his complete start of his own and he became you know he becomes his own person is just hands down like one of the rep one of the best representations of spider-man that i've seen um so that's my second pick um and then i think for me my third pick would have to be uh astrobot as well because um it just i it was again like sarah it was the first <laughs> game that i ever platinumed and uh, I got the platinum bug, as Jose likes to say. Um, <laughs> and uh, it just, yeah, it, it, even though it is a lot of nostalgia, it, it, it just, it, it's nostalgia in a, in a very, it's nostalgia used in a very good way. You know? It's also like nostalgia used in a way that's not like forced. I, I honestly wouldn't say that it's used in, in, in your face. It's used in such... A very well done memory type of way. Well, yeah, and and because our I feel like this this game this game was for our generation and maybe those that are a little bit older than us who mm -hmm. remember playing mm -hmm. who remember playing on the first PlayStation and then getting a PlayStation two and then a PlayStation three and mm -hmm. then a PlayStation four mm -hmm. and now getting a PS five and sitting down and going through all of that with all these different references. It's just like. Wow, I'm literally going through my uh, I'm going through a catalog of my gaming history with PlayStation. That's yeah. literally where it's going. I yeah, down and, memory lane, you know. Yeah, like yeah. one more one more really quick thing on it. Astrobot actually made me cry because it was just so oh, yeah. nostalgic Absolutely. and so mm -hmm. it was so cute and it was exactly what, what we kind of needed right right now. Like it was yeah. a game of, a, yeah. about killing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a game about like, yeah, you get, like, guns and bows and arrows and stuff, but it's not a game about shooting things. It's a game about celebrating a history, mm -hmm. celebrating your history with this thing. And the way that it's done, including the little itty-bitty references in it that some of us may not have got. Like, I know I found a reference for, un for un un Until Dawn that everybody else I talked to never found. And they're like, oh, I just didn't know what that was. And after pointing it out to people, they're like, okay, we, we totally get it now. Like, it's one of those things where... Every playthrough, you're going to find a, a reference that no one else got. And I think, and just knowing how much it, how much the different console levels are going to mean to you other than someone else, I think it's so beautiful. And it's fucking free. It's free. You don't need to pay anything I, for this. I would just like to say that I didn't care about time trials until Jose decided to challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, no, also, that, that, that is also, incorrect. I did them. And then you went out of your way to try to beat my scores. And then I clapped back at you. And then you took it really seriously, and then you you didn't clap. You fucking smacked the shit out of my scores. I, I also want to add to um, what Corey was saying about, you know, growing up and slowly and getting the new consoles all the time. The reason why, like, because, like, like, that wasn't me. That was my friends. So, like, I would, I would visit my friends. I remember, like, you know, my friend who, you know, we would stay up all night playing, like, Jedi Power Battles on his PS PS1. Like getting at his birthday, him opening up a PS2 with with the uh, with um with the uh, Ratchet and Clank. So like, yeah, it was just it was I don't I, I don't know. It's I have a weird uh, like tick and like it just basically it hit that tick really really hard of just being like you're mm -hmm. we haven't forgotten about you. You're welcome here. Mm -hmm. And I just yeah. like emotionally, you, you I can't up, really get you, over out of that. Yeah. It's like you grew up with us, yeah, or we grew and up with you. You know, it's basically like, saying thank you for growing up with us. Here mm -hmm. is yeah. it, to me, it and this gonna sound really dumb, but it was it was holding your hand, taking you through your history, their history, and saying welcome to what next gen is. It's mm -hmm. built on the back on the backs of all of these older systems. Yeah, and this is a personal thank you to them, to you, to like everything else, that. and that's why I think Astro <laughs> is way more important than. I mean, obviously we consider it important, but I think it's a lot more important than some people put it out to be. No, right. yeah, because it because it awesome does that museum of PlayStation history. It also is a great showcase for the fucking dual sense. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a nice little hand massage, geez. too. <laughs> What's the GPU song? Oh, the, the GPU, GPU song slaps. Real catchy. Oh my gosh, yes. The G- and did you guys find the secrets of like where you can see the lyrics if you crack yeah. the walls? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> can, okay, can, can we just give game of the year to like Astro, please? <laughs> I do have my top three, which is Go technically ahead. top four because the second one is not on the list because I don't think y'all are counting it. But it's mm. Astro Boy, Miles Morales, Astro Boy. Devil May Cry Astro- 5 Special Edition. <laughs> oh, I did say Astro Boy. Whoops. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, and at number one is the Final Fantasy 7 remake. That's my top three. Alright, I think the common one is um is Astro, but not even Ast- Astro's playroom. Hell yeah. yeah. Is that the common one between all of us? I think so. I don't I don't think it was necessarily so. anyone's first pick, but yes. But it's so the most I don't mind giving it. So Jill Stein wins. I wouldn't mind yeah. Jill Stein wins <laughs> I was Joe mind. Jorgensen. Let's hear it for Joe Jorgensen. Yeah. <laughs> the free game with your PS5 wins game well, of the year. Honestly, well, being, like being completely serious here. Sony could have easily charged us twenty fucking dollars or forty dollars yeah. for that fucking game. But the fact that it comes free, no matter if you buy your PlayStation Five new or used, because I bought mine used, mm-hmm. and PlayStation still sent me to the store page to download it. Mm-hmm. Sony could easily make you buy that game if you go buy your PlayStation new, but they don't do that. Mm-hmm. And I think that <laughs> that literally says like leaps and bounds. For like, for like, arguing that Astro's Playroom is a is a museum is a is a cel- celebration of PlayStation's history, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they right. want Why everybody it? to experience that. Well, I think that seals the deal. I know I've already kind of went off extensively on Astro for like the last um, two podcasts. I think that we've done. So I won't add, add, Listen, add. Astro is just really good. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm right there with you. Um, after all, I was the first one to platinum it out of the group. Um, <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I think it deserves it. But I think that's going to do it for tonight's episode. Hell we'll yeah. try to uh, get to the rest of our categories tomorrow. We still have some other ones, such as biggest snub, because all of you guys seem to hate on my baby. <laughs> my 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 doomed little baby. Uh, excuse you. Tell me, tell me why. My baby doom. 